Hey guys, I got some fans going in here. You can hear the clothes dryer going in the background. I hope it doesn't interfere that much with the video. Hope you can hear me well. One talk about this submersible. Uh, one, one of, uh, I'm gonna catch hell for this, and I'm already aware of it. I know that. Uh, when the truth is told, you hate it in this world. Uh, but this needs to be discussed and nobody's discussing it. Alright, the sub goes down. We know, I knew, that this sub was lost at the, from the beginning. Uh, I know we all tend to hope for the best and all things. Uh, but this thing was lost. We now know uh, that the United States Navy had already registered it and for all intents and purposes they knew it blew the hour and 45 minutes or whatnot when it lost communication or thereabouts at the same exact time uh, because the blast was recorded or the implosion not explosion uh, was recorded. I um, want to talk about the moralness and ethicalness with this thing. I want to talk about the story this, that the stories that got put out. Uh, basically, from the beginning, it zeroed in on a 19-year-old kid that was horrified and didn't want to go to it with his daddy, but his daddy made him go. I mean, that's the basic logist of the story. Uh, we now know, as of today, and as of really yesterday, the mother came out and said, whatever this aunt was saying, all this googly guy was just that googly guy, and it wasn't true. The 19-year-old boy wanted to go down, uh, was pushing his dad to go down, uh, because he had a Rubik's Cube with him. And he wanted to get his name in the Guinness Book of World Records for solving a Rubik's Cube uh, at the lowest below sea level or the lowest depth ever to solve a Rubik's Cube. Cube. Because Rubik's Cubes, uh, there's a guy in the Guinness Book of World Records has his name etched in the stone there for solving one at the outermost part of altitude at the heights so he wanted to do it at the depths uh, this story turned into a satanic mass from the start as everything does in this generation uh, giving excuses for children not to listen to mothers and fathers here we go centering in on a daddy the daddy was the bad guy and that's the way society in general from watching a comedy show on the TV to watching a movie to reading a newspaper magazine any of it there's always a, a, a daddy at the forefront that is a bad human being staring a wife wrong and or staring a child wrong then secondarily it moves on to a woman and then a woman has done this or made her Hurt, hurt the child or steered the child in the wrong direction. And folks, all this is geared into uh, into uh, getting kids not to listen to their mothers and fathers. And who benefits the most off of that? Satan and his minions, demonic forces benefit off of that. Nothing good, good comes from setting that down as foundation of society that it's always a dad first that does wrong takes his children down and a mother secondarily that does wrong takes the children down and that's just simply not so uh, it's turning into such because the world's been conditioned to it but we've got to really slow down and start looking at these things another thing I want to tell you is the establishment got into that submarine and went down. The establishment. You got an extra controller over there, Joe, laying on that table. Joe. Joe. 
You got an extra controller laying on that table. What? Have, do you have an extra controller laying on that table? All right. Bring me a controller. There yeah, you do. All right. I want to show you this controller. This goes to a PlayStation. What is it, Joe? Five? All right. So it's the latest PlayStation. Look at this. The controller used to operate that sub uh, is way less capabilities than this controller. And this, you know, somebody sitting in there operating this. Now keep in mind, the establishment... Uh, thank you, son. You want it back? Well, it's an extra one, but maybe it can be charging for you. Uh, Joe's playing his PlayStation right now. He had his earphones on. That's why I had to holler to him. Uh, the establishment got in that sub. How do you know they were the establishment? Well, anybody that's got $250,000 cash to go take a 10-hour, 12-hour trip to sit and look at the Titanic for two hours, two and a half hours, is establishment, folks. They're up there in the upper crust of it all. And the stupidity that is going on, the false reliance on technology that's going on, has created a race of people that are not able to think or reason correctly. You couple that with Satan. Then you couple that with victim blaming, victim blaming, bad person, and how Satan and demonic uh, entities or spirits have control over people's emotions to get them uh, to point at them and label them a bad person when they're honest about what's going on. Uh, all these things coupled together are not giving us a chance. So that's why I tell people, don't be woke. Wake the hell up. Don't be woke. Wake the hell up. And this is going on in every venue. I put up, uh, went to put up a video earlier today discussing... <laughs> Uh, some new, not new techniques, because nothing new is under the sun in boxing, but uh, how we were going to mix a few things together in footwork uh, for Joe, and how crazy that a lot of these trainers out here would think what we're doing is. Uh, but, but would be unaware that the greatest heavyweight of all time, Joe Lewis, did what we're doing. See, but yet, no, you're, no, you're crazy. And the ignorance is astounding in society today. Uh, all this woke mess. Uh, as, as this video is coming out, the debauchery going on in the streets around the world in big cities and small cities alike is uh, due to this pride crap is unbelievable. Uh, folks, it's time to... It's time for you to wake up. To wake up. That if you are in such a clouded shell, and it could be an academic clouded shell, you can believe that you're smart as a whip. You can have an IQ of over 222 like I have, I don't have today. Uh, but a very intelligent person, you could be and be so clouded with uh, facts that aren't facts that you, you can't see uh, beyond the nose on your face. And we got to start waking up. Uh, if you start sensing trouble, that means there is trouble. Uh, there's an inner sense in you. Uh, you, if you're up in an airplane and the guy is, uh, well, I'll put it to you this way. My, be my best friend in the world, he used to, uh, he and his wife would take two or three trips a year to Mexico, so they'd always fly. And this guy was a rights guy, a liberty rights guy, a classic liberal, not a liberal of today. He was one of those liberals that wanted to make sure that your constitutional rights were followed. But, 
uh, I had once mentioned to him, I said, does it offend you now that they're checking so much after 9-11? And he said, no, I could care less if they stripped me down totally naked, made me bend over and pull my cheeks apart uh, and take photographs of my, my, my family. Because I will appreciate that being 30,000 feet in the air. Now, I want you to think about that. He had common sense, see. Uh, and uh, a, a, a sense that built up in him where common sense took hold. So, I mean, that's just a little example. It's far off from this point. But uh, if, if you're in an airplane uh, and your pilot's slurring his speech uh, before you even get up, you, you, you just get in there and get sat down but the door to the plane still open you see the pilot coming in stumbling all over himself you see uh he's slurring in his speech there's an inner being in you that says get the hell off this plane right oh no it'll be okay because everybody else is just sitting here right so learn learn how to behave the smart people were getting on this thing right regular and going down and uh, sitting there knowing that the thing that controlled this thing uh, had no more capabilities than my son's PlayStation 5 controller and how anybody could do this. Well, they've done it uh, 48 times before. That's no, no reason to be falling in to that's what Satan wants you to believe, folks. Well, they've done it before. It'll be okay. You know, uh, you, you got to let fear drive you, and especially you young boxers. I gave the story the other day. Uh, my uncle, a lieutenant colonel at the time, uh, wouldn't jump out of the airplane. And his reasoning was I wasn't scared. I knew I'd kill myself at that point. You, God's put fear in you for a reason and it's to keep you from doing crazy ass things like that. See? And you can spot a person a mile off and who has God and who doesn't uh, by things like that. Because it's called tempting faith is what we call it. The reality of it is it's tempting God. And uh, people just need to wake up and think. I know there's going to be a lot of people upset, angry with me about saying this and so be it. Uh, you know, so be it. Uh, but this is one of the most ridiculous things and that they drew this story out as long as they did to cover up things that were going on in government at the same time and get us focused on this, on this submersible that we already knew uh, and that they most importantly anybody with any intelligence already knew there was no way they could get to that thing that those people were dead even if they were laying on the bottom of the ocean technology does not exist to go down there latch onto that thing and pull it up none of that was true the technology does not exist uh, I've got enough experience to know that uh, with things I've done in this world and in my life. Um, so it, the stories that's coming out from this thing, they're not even true. And uh, uh, I saw at the very beginning the design to go against fathers and their authority over their children or mothers and their authority over their children. And I, I knew it was bunk. I knew it was a lie. And lo and behold, I kept silent about it. And today, it all comes out because God's going to give his people insight to be able to look and see and reason. See, to be able to reason. And uh, unfortunately, that is being lost in today's society. So uh, that's basically, hope I didn't uh, upset too many people. I hope people, if I did upset you, I hope you 
you walk off, you think about this thing, and you come to the realization that what I'm trying to tell you is correct. That's what I would hope for you. Because your life will your life will be more safe if you do realize the little bit of information that I gave you here. So uh, we'll check you all later.